stupidly expensive things. LeBron James owns. The feeling of being one of the greatest basketballers ever truly pays with a net worth of over a billion dollars. LeBron James spends ridiculously. Six-figure watches, million-dollar luxurious cars and entire mansion collection. These are six stupidly expensive things LeBron James owns. But before we start the video please like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hit the bell icon so you never miss our next uploaded video. Without further ado, let's check out LeBron's lifestyle. LeBron James once gave an interview in an Armani suit, which costs $4,900 wearing an Alderman P. Gay wristwatch worth over $31,000 while holding an exclusive Tom Brown alligator skin bag worth over $40,000. And in his shades, headphones, socks, and jewelry, the entire fit costs about $80,000. Ridiculous. But that's an everyday LeBron look. So that has no place on our list. Taking the number 6 spot is his Nike custom-made shoes. Did I just say shoes? Yeah, you heard right. A pair of shoes that costs more than an entire outfit. Recall in 2018 when LeBron scored his 30,000th career point highest ever made by an NBA player. So Nike congratulated their ambassador with this one-of-a-kind diamond gold LeBron 15s made of genuine crocodile skin, custom zipper poles, heel clips, lace loops. All finished in 24. Kara Gold. Oh my days. Imagine LeBron making the winning shot of an NBA Finals in these diamond and gold sneakers. Legendary, right? Nah. I don't think he would like to ruin a gift. Worth about $200,000? Nope. To the trophy cabinet you go. But remember, our legend is a billionaire. $200,000 is like bro's allowance. So let's talk about the millions LeBron spent on designer watches. How many watches are too many? Well, LeBron would know the king has a watch collection that's worth over $1.2 million. He's called a king. And a sophisticated, Luxurious lifestyle is only beneficial for a king. What better than a collection of expensive Rolex watches? Alderman PGAs, Paddock Phillips and Richard Meal. LeBron's watch collection is crazy. In the last NBA Finals, LeBron was spotted rocking a $40,000 Parrot. Philip, he was also once invited to build a watch as well, and all these efforts resulted in the formation of the Royal Oak Offshore. Guess the worth of this piece, a whopping $53,000 insane. Beth Township Mansion. LeBron doesn't just have a watch collection, he also has a collection of mansions. The Beth Township property was purchased by the superstar in 2003 just as he began his NBA career. Spending the sum of $2 million. He was not done there. He also spent many millions renovating Dimension by making some adjustments and improvements to suit his taste. This villa has more than 19 rooms, which includes 6 bedrooms, a bowling alley, and 9 bathrooms. It also has a studio home and a theater. If you think that's a lot, wait till you find out. It also has a sports bar and aquarium and a barbershop. The list is endless. So yeah. He has everything he needs in just one single house. This mansion is currently worth above $9 million. It is pretty obvious he put a lot of work into it, but if he is spending that much furnishing a mansion, can you imagine how much he spends on his cars? See LeBron has been building a multi-million dollar car garage since 2002. At just 18 years old, this man bought himself a Hummer, and that was just the beginning because when LeBron started making that NBA money, he got himself a Jeep Wrangler, a Dodge Challenger SSRT. He, even when classic copping a 1975 Chevrolet Impala. Those cars are cool, but then the Goat Brothers in millions of dollars a year. Where are the Lamborghinis? The Bentleys? The Ferraris? Well, back in 2009 when LeBron James and legendary Shaquille O'Neal were teammates, they were good friends on and off the court. So for LeBron's 25th birthday, Shaq gave him a brand new $450,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom Dam. After that, LeBron never looked back at the normal cars from this ride on, it's exotics only. 
I'm talking about a Lamborghini Venter. A couple of Ferraris, Bentley Chevrolets, name it. And to top everything up, when LeBron captained the Lakers to victory in the 2020 NBA Finals, he celebrated himself with the most expensive car, yet a Mercedes Mach G650. Lend Ole one of the rarest in the world. There are only 99 in existence. This rare gem cost him $1.4 million. And when you add the worth of all LeBron's cars, you get a garage worth over $7 million. That's not just great, that's magnificent. Speaking of the Lakers, when LeBron James was signed by the Lakers, he bought himself another mega mansion adding to his mansion collection LeBron dunked $21 million for this mansion located in Brentwood, Los Angeles. This mansion has two yacht docks, eight bedrooms, a poolside cabana, an indoor-outdoor gym, basketball court, a casino and resort-like grounds. This place is so ridiculous. It has its own elevator. A palace fit for the king with the way LeBron is buying mansions like free throws. I won't be surprised if he buys another house in the same city at this point. Oh wait. He did do that for some crazy rich reason. He bought another mansion in law and this time the beast of a house cost him more than $25 million. This brings the total money spent on LA mansions too. Claiming our number two spot. Do you think these mansions have doorbells? stupidly expensive things. LeBron James owns number one, LeBron Sports Investments. See, back in 2011 when LeBron was in that investor mode, he was looking for ways to multiply his money. I'm not talking about tens of millions. I'm talking hundreds of millions. So when he found out that an average soccer team was worth over $2 billion, he wanted in, he called in Fenway Sports Group, the owners of Liverpool Football Club and ended up buying a 2% stake in the team for $6.5 million. This was the best financial decision LeBron will ever make. I say this because by 2020, a successful Liverpool side gave LeBron a return on investment of over $82 million. What? LeBron was very happy with his investment, so he asked himself, why stop now? He went back to Fenway Sports Group for another deal this time a baseball team. The Boston Red Sox. So in 2021, he bought a 1% stake in the team for $70 million. So in total, the superstar owns $150 million worth of sports teams, a true living king. So when next you see Liverpool FC lifting that Champions League trophy, just know the king is making more millions. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe, like and share button. We'll see you in the next video.